Hey guys, welcome back to the Nocturnal Aquarius YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking more about how to set up a mangrove tank. I'll talk a little bit about the substrate, which is super basic. I'll talk to you about the fertilizer. I'm going to do a little bit of planning. I'm going to show you a little bit of underwater footage, but I want to save that until there's actually something to follow around underwater. Alright, so now... Adding pool filter sand because it doesn't need to be cleaned a whole lot, but we're trying to replicate the success I have with the other tank so I can show you guys how to do it. But one thing I'm going to do, probably about halfway filling it up, is I'm going to add some fertilizer to the sand to the initial layer just to get some nutrients in there for the roots so it'll help them transition over and get them kick starting on the cycling process and breaking down fish waste and everything else huh might not need another bucket after all in this jug is a pre-mix of just tap water that's been aired out and treated but i have the aquarium cup easy green in just because I don't want to deal with all the micro dosing stuff. It's not that I can't. I'm just too lazy for it. Mix all that in. Now the main reason I want to do a really deep substrate bed is because I'm a big fan of the Wallstead method of aquariums. And the way LRB likes to build. Well, I don't think you guys want to watch the tank fill up, so I will see you when it's done. Hey everybody. It's been about, you know, two, two days. Just wanted to let the water clear up a little bit before I planted them so you can actually see what I was doing. So now, I'm going to be planting all the mangroves in the tank. So like you see, it's all these really nice roots that got on them. Now these bigger ones here, that have that pink coloration, that is the newest growth. And that's going to be the tap root they send down into the substrate to hold on. So really, you only need to plant about that much of the root into the substrate, if any. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. And some of them can be planted a little bit deeper, like this one here. It doesn't have any of those roots that are trying to go straight down. It's more matted out. So this one I'm going to plant a little below. And once I get all the plants in, I'll give you guys an underwater view of everything so you can see what I'm talking about. Now the only thing I have in here right now as a filter is just a little makeshift sponge filter I threw together when I filled the tank up. But this tank here I wanted to show you mainly because these are the ones that I sell on the website. So this is the mangrove grow out tank for that. And if you guys want to order any the link is in the description for that. It's nocturnalaquarius.com. So if you guys are ever looking for that, and I'll be adding random plants in the future, and mosses and other random house plants that you wouldn't normally think about for aquariums. While I'm doing this, some of the fish that were going to be in here, I'm not going to tell you what they are because i got to save something for the next video. It's something that occurs naturally in the mangrove swamp. And they're fish I've been wanting to keep for a long time, and I'm really happy I finally got them. 
So I'm hoping you guys will enjoy them too. Oh yeah. Hey, somebody's got some real nice roots. That'll be a nice tall one. Now one of the things I've noticed with these guys is a lot of them are kind of leaning over and some of the leaf stalks are bent. The longer they're under the light, they'll re-bend to reach for that just like any other plant. So it just takes a little bit of time for them to readjust and then they'll move. All right, and now they're all planted. Some of them are underwater, but once they're given a little bit of time to readjust to the new tank, they'll start reaching up out of the water for the light. And some of them will anchor themselves down better into the sand. It was a little cloudy. Because yeah, I kicked up all the gunk when I was planting them again, so there's a little dust in the water column. So what I want to show you here is the roots and the way they're planted. So you see how this one right in the center, it's got the vertical roots that I was talking about earlier. Well that's what's going to help it hold in place. And if you look at the one right here, that one's flatter so it's starting to come back up out of the substrate. And there's another one, that one there, that keeps pulling out of the sand. So what I'll do is I'll let that one float for a little while and it'll start sending down those vertical tap roots to hold itself in place. And then that'll kind of reorient itself and it'll be fine after that. All right, everyone, that's it for this second episode of the Mangrove Care video series. We'll be putting the next one out in the next couple of weeks whenever I get time to do edits. I apologize for the audio quality. It'll get better as I go. I'm just getting the hang of it. If you like the video, please throw a thumbs up, throw a sub to the channel if you want to see more, and turn on that bell so you know when they come out. See you guys in the next one. Take it easy.